hello, I'm Joyce Gaskin. I'm Voluntary Coordinator of the GSF Mental Health Fellowship. This is a local charity that's been working for about 30 years and I've been working with them for nearly 20, I think. There have been some really important strides forward in mental health over the last four years or so. We've seen the introduction of the new mental health law, which protects people who suffer with mental health issues a great deal more than the other one. Um, it was a 1939 law that we were working under, which was very antiquated and it, it wasn't uh, suitable for today's conditions. So that was a great improvement. The next important thing, I think, equally as important, is the move to the Oberlin Centre. GSF, along with a lot of other charities, campaigned over many years to get moved from the Cattell Hospital. Everybody knows the stigma that the Cattell Hospital had. I went around the new centre last week and I was very impressed. It is incredible. There are many, many rooms for people to do therapies. There's state-of-the-art technology for, to help people and it's very impressive and recognizes, the island now recognizes, the importance of mental health and proper provision of care. There are a couple of things that we really need to push forward with now. I would say, in my uh, opinion, um, one of the most important things is continuation and extension of primary health care. A few years ago we had no primary health care for mental health. You either got referred straight to the Cattell Hospital or you were put on tranquilizers. But now doctors can give you therapies, there are many more options for people and that's a very important issue but it needs to be better funded and it needs to be rolled out a bit more. I'm told that people who have issues and maybe aren't too good at filling out forms, if they don't fill out a form correctly or they don't send it back in time, they're bumped off the waiting list and waiting lists are too long. The next thing I'd mention would be um, going to families who are in crisis out of hours. We hear from carers that typically your loved one could get a crisis on a bank holiday, three o'clock in the morning. This is often when people go down and crash. There is no help for them then. As a charity, when we've had people phoning us really severely depressed, in a crisis. The only resort in the end was to get the police on a safe and well check. That shouldn't happen to people. Sympathetic though the police are, and they're very good, they shouldn't be descending on families in crisis. It should be somebody knowledgeable who can sustain uh, the situation, contain it, and take that person to a place of safety. So that's a very great priority for me. And I think those would be the two things that I would ask any deputy to consider if they're appointed to office.